Good morning guys and welcome back. So we've added a 12 volt air compressor to the Jeep. Finally it's been almost four years and I've always gone back and forth or trying to figure out which one to buy or I've just borrowed friends one when I've, we've been out on the beach and stuff like that. But I think it's about time that we actually bought one for ourselves. There's a lot of different air compressors out there so which one do you go for and which one did I go for? Just before we get started let me know what air compressor you guys are using down in the comments below. Everybody using something different and there's heaps of reasons why whether you go for a dual or a single compressor, 12 volt, whatever it might be, let me know in the comments below. I'm sure everybody's using something completely different um, that kind of fits their purpose. Now, I chose the Exit Track uh, 12 volt 160 LPM, so the single compressor. Um, and the main reason um, they make an awesome compressor, the main reason is the customer service. Um, anything I've never done, because I've, I've been running the recovery tracks for probably a year now, uh, the customer service is awesome. Other companies I've bought through, it takes them ages to either get back, get back to me or they don't get back to me at all. Every time I've messaged them, exit tracks on Instagram, whatever it might be, they always get back to me really fast. Uh, always helpful and always wanted to give advice. And that's probably the main reason I actually went with them over any other brand. So let's have a look at the air compressor. Uh, we've dropped the tyres in the Jeep down because we've gone for a bit of a uh, 4B today. We've dropped the tyres in the Jeep down to 25 PSI. Um, and this is the air compressor we bought. Now it comes with a bar gauge, as you guys can see there, an air bleed off button which is on the back of the actual gauge which is great, which is awesome so you can just hook that up and uh, bleed it down to the right PSI. Uh, battery clamps, now I'm not sure if I want to keep these on the compressor all the time, um, I do have an Anderson plug in the back of the Jeep that we might hook these up to instead of having it um, just clamped to the batteries, but let me know, I might hard mount this in the back of the Jeep. Not sure, uh, but very sturdy, um, nice little plasticing over them. Pretty much any alligator clamps that are out there on the market. Uh, what else have we got? We got a cleanable air compressor, so you can actually top, take that top housing off and actually clean it up. An 8 meter rubber hose, uh, different fittings. The fittings on the actual air compressor feel really good. Um, nice little rubber parts on there as well. Uh, really solid fittings, they feel nice and quality off on trigger which is down here on the compressor uh, the only other thing I like about this is black um, all the other ones are weird funny colors I love how this is black nice and sleek and it's got the cutout of the XG tracks on the on the actual compressor which looks awesome um, it's got a 45a circuit breaker, uh, circuit breaker in it as well which I think it's over that side there uh, anti-vibration base which is awesome so it's like I'm vibrate around uh, multiple attachments, so you can actually have, uh, you can blow up uh, mattresses, uh, boards when you're up the beach and stuff like that, and also comes with a cool carry bag. But as I said, we might actually heart mount this in the Jeep, so we might actually not need this carry bag. Uh, but that's pretty much it, it's pretty much a run of the mill compressor. I love how it looks, I love the black uh, with the yellow gauge on it. Um, really, really well branded, um, we've got some really nice fittings. Uh, which is awesome. We got the bleed gauge there, which is sick. Eight meter hose um, and the alligator, alligator clamps. Now, for this whole compressor, everything included all the hoses, fittings, everything like that. You're looking at about $150 online, which is probably a run of the mill price for a solid uh, single barrel air compressor. If you want to buy a drill one, obviously it's more. Uh, you can get a mean mother one if you want. But it's not a bad price. Um, they do go on sale sometimes from different retailers, but it's expect to pay about $150, $140 uh, for the single barrel um, XE air compressor. Now you're probably wondering how long is actually going to take to fill up. So we've dropped the tires in the Jeep, as I said before, down to 25 PSI. Normally I run them about 35, 37 PSI, depending on what I'm doing. Um, as you can see, there's a nice bulge in the bottom of the tire. Um, as we're doing these tracks here, it definitely softened it up. Now a great thing, if, if you're new to forward driving, dropping down your tire pressures, using an air compressor, it actually gives you a little guide um, inside the user's manual about tire pressures explained. Dirt roads reduce pressure by 30%, sand reduced by 45 to 50%. Uh, it shows your overall footprint um, of different PSI's, 45 compared to 15 PSI. Everyone knows dropping your diet tire pressures will give you a wider footprint for forward driving which will increase your traction um, 
when you're off-road, on the beach, uh, rock crawling, whatever it might be. So that's really handy if you're just getting into using an air compressor or letting know your tire pressures. Um, operating time, uh, what are we down to? We're down to 25. So we're looking about a minute per, just over a minute per tire. We'll time this when we pump these up. As I said, 25 PSI in them at the moment, we'll pump them up to 37 um, and we'll time them on our phone uh, to see how long this actually takes. So that's pretty much a rundown of the air compressor itself. It's a great little unit, um, pretty small. It's great, it comes in a little carry bag so you can tuck it away when you want. Not leave it in the Jeep or leave it um, at home when you're not going off-road. I might leave it in the Jeep all the time uh, this far. Uh, just so if I have a flat, whatever it might be, I can just pump up my tires, pump up bores, pump up buck tires, whatever it might be. So let's hook this up, uh, let's go pumping up the tires. Alright, so we've got the Jeep on. We've hooked up the uh, Exatrack 5 volt air compressor, we've got the gauge, we've got our phone so we run time how long it takes. So we'll start the timer and take maybe a second off. Ready, set, go. Check that, temp that go. 40, 40 PSI. So in a minute, we're going from 25 to 40, so I've got to drop that down just a little bit. So. All right, so within a minute, uh, with the uh, single barrel 12 volt air compressor, we went from 25 to 40 PSI. So that's not half bad. Uh, so by the time you walk around, unplug it, stuff like that, you're looking at maybe seven, eight minutes, call it 10 minutes. We'll do a round number of 10 minutes to do all four tires and get home. So it's not bad, it's not bad at all. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill up the rest of the tires and, and that's pretty much it. Alright, so that's pretty much it for today guys. Really happy with the little compressor. Um, it's a great size for how fast it actually blew up the tyres. Mind you, I'm not running big tyres. Uh, if you're running 35s, 37s, um, it might be a little bit slower. Obviously, it's got more circumference to pump up. So we're running 245, 75, 17s, uh, and they pump them up really well. So under a minute to pump up uh, each tyre, so by the time you unhook it, run around 10 minutes isn't bad at all for 150 bucks. I think it's a great little uh, air compressor for any four-wheel drive to have for that peace of mind. Um, and that drivability, to be able to let down your tire pressures at any point and just pump them back up when you want is fantastic. It doesn't take up a lot of room, very inexpensive, uh, great quality and I said before, they're an awesome company. Um, any time of any, I haven't had any issues to be fair. But if I post a photo, they would repost it, they would uh, show gratitude uh, to people just that buy their products, which is awesome. I feel like you don't get that with other companies, I'm not going to name companies, but um, and it's really great when they get back to you uh, and just have a chat. Um, they're really friendly, always get back to me, which is awesome. I really appreciate that in a company, that's why I really appreciate using uh, their products um, all the time. Uh, and they're a great product. Um, they're very similar to in every other um, compressor on the market, just their, their customer service is on point um, and their product always look pretty damn cool as well. So check them out, I'll leave a link in the description below um, if you guys want to buy one. Um, 150 bucks, can't go wrong, that peace of mind that you've always got air on you, you can air down, you can pump up a flat tire, whatever it might be, 
not bad. A little inexpensive air compressor for any four-wheel drive. So that's pretty much today. Ah, uh, shit. Stuff that up. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you like this video, smash that like button. As always, smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. We're we'll uploading brand new videos every week, um, and we've got a trip to New Zealand in two weeks to go see some family, so I might actually be uploading a video for that as well. No four drive content this time uh, for New Zealand, but if we can start traveling back uh, more and more often, we'll start uploading some four drive content from New Zealand. Uh, so subscribe for that. Um, but as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.